you have purified your souls in obeying the truth not through going through water not through climbing a mountain not through putting pins and nails in your body not through walking through fire not through fasting and prayer not by not by harassing your body for a spiritual effect not by much studying meditating or any such thing since you have purified your soul how in obeying the truth what truth that jesus christ when he died on the cross took my sin when i believe it and say lord jesus take my sin on your cross i am purified my temptations are resisted my nature is refined i am made clean my mind and thinking and imagination is made clean all those ugly things go on the cross they became jesus's bitter cup he drank the bitter cup he became ugly that i might become lovely cross made him so ugly all my ugliness went on the cross beloved we will need the cross and we will meet the cross when we see the ugliness of our lonely heart in the ugly when we see the ugliness when we are alone things that our mind conjures and nobody knows wild imaginations anger envy strife conflict that comes to us the murder we commit in our mind the dark thoughts when we have faced them we will say i need a savior what i thought was good is no good at all when i have seen myself in his ugliness i will know why jesus looked so ugly on the cross he took it all but when he rose again he was glowing mary magdalene couldn't recognize him disciples on the way to emmaus couldn't recognize him because their last memory of jesus was so mad on the cross when we came back from hades risen like the morning star in all his glory looking like the mount of transfiguration jesus they took some time to recognize him and he had to say don't fear it's me don't fear it's me how heartening it must have been how encouraging it must have been that darkness was removed the memory of that dark day was removed Jesus was back to live inside their heart better than living with them and doing the miracles and showing them now he was in them for them to be the miracle for them to be the sign and the wonder no more condemnation we look forward when we turn away god buries the past we are forgiven and we are empowered to forgive first sign of salvation empowered to forgive so it's in the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread because when you don't have bread in your stomach you are hungry and you are angry you can't forgive anybody you feel like become a jvp revolutionary you feel like growing a trotsky beard so he first said pray for your daily bread then you say forgive us our trespasses as he forgive those who trespass against us i'm a child of god assurance of salvation and heaven no more appetite for sin the 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 dark thoughts and the cantankerous thoughts that we were drinking and other pleasures of sin that they were so pleasurable our appetite changes appetite for gossip changes appetite for slander changes appetite for strife changes i love to debate and i was so combative i have forgotten the art of debating i have forgotten combat have you have you have you i have the intellectual and mental capacity to take on any body on any subject i have forgotten it because i am crucified with christ now i don't live christ lives in me no more appetite no more bad karma 
my expectation is for good my expectation is for good no more bad karma and the testimony in my mouth is about jesus see what happened to this community next everywhere they went the lord said in acts 2:39 this is what the lord this is what the lord sp peter spoke to them and said for the promise this promise this life is for you and your children those who are near you he was speaking to a nation so it meant their first cousin second cousin uncle aunt everybody for you and your near family near contacts greek word is oikos and for all who are far off everybody in the community can come to this knowledge you have the key will you use it or will you lose it in a mud bath corporate battle some competition your energy is so drained pursuing your career please this key jesus gives only you this is the key of life this is cross shaped all that went wrong he turned it around all that went wrong what's your memory of your mathematics book wrong 9 into 7 45 2 into 2 9 7 into 5 49 wrong 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 so many things wrong what does jesus do turns it clockwise wrong became positive the cross through the cross will you say it me through the cross i get it right through the cross this is righteousness that saves i get it right through the cross not my penance not my suffering not the bad things that happened to me not the good things my parents did not the merit not the charity not the different other rituals but the cross that turned me right the cross that turned me right the cross that turned me right it is no longer i that live but christ who lives in me the life i now live i live by the faith of the son of god this is the life jesus has for us and for our children and for those who are far off for everyone because the lord our god calls to himself acts 239 as the lord our god will call you know why you are here you did not know me you didn't even know this place you are here today because there was an invisible silver line that drew you invisible silver line it went through the air it's called the choosing of god will you say it me chosen of god you came with that silver line from heaven and with a golden pitcher in your spirit and when your soul sorrowed in human experiences you know why you didn't hit the rock bottom when you were drowning and sinking deep in sin disappointment temptation far away denying god whatever it was you were sinking into god kept a lifeboat a golden pitcher of your spirit and a silver thread hanging from heaven that never ruptured will you say amen it never ruptured it was invisible it was slender but it never died he held on to who he knew you were in your mother's womb you went far away you went deep down but he never let the silver cord out of his finger how many fingers has god got in his one heart he can send a silver thread to 7 billion individuals all over the world and a golden pitcher your spirit 
that prevented you from drowning. That was your lifeboat. You wondered why your soul didn't sink. You might have thought it's your patience. You might have thought it's your sagacity. You might have thought it's your surviving power or endurance. Nothing of that. Lifeboat of your spirit. God blew a little air and kept you afloat. And you have come to this moment to say, I take up the life of the golden pitcher. Will you stand to your feet? This is the salvation of Christ he created. And this is the community he created. Community of the spirit. And he says, be saved from this crooked generation. Remember the new covenant through the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. New covenant through the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. It creates a new individual. All things pass away. All things are becoming new. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And our affections are set on high. Colossians 3.1 And that silver thread never breaks. And the golden pitcher awaits the filling. We have been working with our soul and our conscience. That is wood, hay, stubble, clay, iron, brass. Golden pitcher hanging on a silver thread waits to be filled by the love of God and the purpose of God. Will the worship team come?